Good morning. From Hoi An. It's our first full day in Hoi An, and so we're going to do our usual thing if you've watched any of our other videos, and that is to do a free walking tour. First, we need some coffee. We've just bought tickets to get into the old city. I believe we get into all of the attractions with these. They cost 120,000 dong each. So for two of them, that works out to be about 13 Canadian dollars. Hoi An is a city located in central Vietnam that is internationally recognized for its well-preserved trading port that dates back to between the 15th and 19th century. For this purpose, merchants from various countries settled here, bringing their culture and architecture with them. The Old Town, which is the city's historic district, is a multicultural hub that exhibits Japanese, Chinese and European influence. For this reason, Hoi An's Old Town was designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1999, and that was what we had the pleasure of walking through today. We just visited a lady's stall. She's known as the Coconut Lady because she just does all sorts of coconut based products. She has literally coconut everything like oil, flesh, milk, uh, water, anything you can possibly shake a stick at, as well as a couple of other things like ginger and everything else. Honestly, great place to go and they also give you free samples. We ended up trying these. These are coconut chips which are cut fried and doused in sugar and they are amazing. These cost just over a dollar, so we figured why not? We just 
sat down for lunch after finishing our walking tour, and one of the things that our guide told us about are what they call rice pancakes. I've ordered one that's vegetarian, but typically they come with some kind of meat. And the tour guide assured me that this is very similar to okonomiyaki in Japan, which is one of my favorite foods. So it's definitely more of a fried dough, which makes sense because it's a rice pancake, whereas I've described okonomiyaki, it's far more eggy. But on the inside, there's egg, and sprouts, and also some kind of noodle. It's very tasty. And we are now officially back from having done the tour. A lot of the tour really centered around this particular ticket. So this is a ticket that provides you with access to an absolute ton of different attractions in Hoi An's old town. So you pay 120,000 dong, so 6.6 .6 recurring, I think it is, dollars. Each of one of these little tabs represents an entry to something which is included in this pamphlet here. And in terms of what is in this leaflet here, then there are various different points of interest, all of which are listed here. And if you need a better idea as to where everything is, then they also include this handy map. This is listing off probably about 30 to 40 different things, all in all. So this is a pretty comprehensive thing that we get to do. The fact that our tour guide kind of prompted us to get this done in the first place is awesome because it encapsulated four of the places that she wanted to take us anyway. Plus, we also have one extra little tab. So if we want to go somewhere else of our own volition, then that's already set up for us while we're in Hoi An, which is perfect. Speaking of our tour guide, Wynn was absolutely amazing. I think that this might have been actually one of my favorite tours that I've been in mm. because first of all, she was just so kind. She was. I also thought the balance between information and just being kind of friendly was really perfect. Yeah. And I loved that she took us into some of the old houses and cultural centers and assembly halls and temples because had we gone in by ourselves, we wouldn't have understood a lot of the historical and cultural significance, but she had some really interesting anecdotes. And I don't know, I just thought she was really lovely and this was one of my favorite tours we've been on. Yeah, I think the thing that we respond to the best is not just having somebody who knows a lot of information that they can give you, but also somebody who's really personable. By having that, who can give you some like additional context to what you're seeing beyond just what you can read on Wikipedia, that just really helps to bring it to life a bit more. I didn't really know what to expect from Hoi An as a city. We've met several people along our travels who just raved about it, and I can totally see why. This city, in my opinion, is equally as charming and cute as like Chiang Mai and Hanoi if not even more sweet, I absolutely love being able to see all the different architectural styles that have been influenced by the various peoples who've settled here over the course of history. I feel like this city has a lot of energy to it without it being overcrowded or overwhelming. There is a bit of a hustle and bustle to it. There is a real strong market culture as well. And then on top of that, by having been such a melting pot of different cultures, then it means that it just welcomes you. They've built their identity on people of every background coming in and adding to the city as a whole. They just accept that you are part of that. And that's just really nice. While there is a lot of international influence here, you can also clearly still see Vietnamese traditions. And we actually had the opportunity to go to a show as part of this tour, which in my opinion was really phenomenal. I think my two favorite parts of the performance was the one with the performers in animal costumes, because as we've learned along the way, the turtle 
the dragon, the phoenix, and the unicorn are very significant in their culture. And then the other one I really liked was the lantern dance, because here in Hoi An, lanterns play a huge role in their decor. I really think these walking tours are fantastic ways to get to know a city. It's the best way to just get your bearings, first of all, but also just try and get some quick recommendations in as to what to do, where to go, what to eat, all of that kind of thing. It's just a very nice way to introduce yourself and get introduced by a local. We've been yammering on at you for too long. Yes, we have. So, <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. Mm -hmm. So we're going to let you go. Neither of us are feeling our best still. If you want a little insider information, at the beginning of the tour, I kind of thought I was going to pass out because I started like having my vision go black, but I didn't. So that was great. So we are going to rest up this afternoon because clearly we both still need it and probably just do a chill dinner. that has quickly become one of our favorites. On the first night, I tried out a dish that technically I should have tried in Hanoi, just didn't really get an opportunity to. It's called Bun Cha. And the idea behind it is that you grill some pork, you then put that into a broth, which ends up being something of a soup with carrots and garlic and a number of other things. You also then add some vermicelli noodles on the side, as well as some salad in case you want to dip that in. Sprinkle chili as you wish to, and then you're set. I tried this a couple of nights ago, it was incredible, and so I am very, very happy to give this one another try. I would really like to know exactly what they put in this because it is incredible. It's got like a slightly sweet, slightly tangy, slightly sour flavor as well. And by dipping the rice noodles in, then it helps to really flesh the dish out and really absorbs a lot of the flavor too. That plus tender pork is just, you can't really go wrong. It's delicious. Yet another truly delicious meal in Vietnam to cap off another lovely day. We are heading back now and we're just going to turn in because unfortunately this one is not feeling her best. We really, really hope that she feels her best tomorrow, which is when we intend on picking this video back up. So until next time, take care. And keep smiling. <laughs>